Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. This is my second YouTube video and basically what I'm doing is I'm responding to email I get on a daily basis that I feel would be of a, an interest to the general public that's looking or considering real estate in PEI. So today I received an email inquiring on a certain property that just says, Hi Michael, just wondering how many bedrooms there are. Uh, can you provide details on this home? The, the problem today is with about 85 to 90 percent of the general public looking at real estate today, the average real estate agent is completely inundated with, with emails on a daily basis. It wouldn't be uncommon for me to get 100 to 200 emails in one day. So you can get an email like this and you can you know just send them the sheet and kiss them goodbye because chances are they've emailed 50 other agents. Um, or you can try to maybe help them a little more and, and establish some sort of business relationship, preferably over the phone. Email just simply does not give you the warm and, and fuzzy feeling that a phone call can. So it has been my habit to, uh, to typically try to establish some phone communication. And when I've done that, uh, it's been quite successful in, in both the potential purchaser and myself have gotten a lot more of that phone call than they would have me sending them an MLS sheet and ending the, uh, the communication there. So anyway, uh, in this particular instance I asked for the, the emailer's phone number. They replied back, Michael, we have not selected a realtor yet, uh, nor do we really want to do so. At this point we're contacting many listing agents on a few properties. We have not made the decision yet to, to relocate to PEI, but when we do, we will choose a single realtor to work with. First of all, um, I appreciate your honesty, and choosing one agent and one agent only is the only way to go, and that's the way the system is designed. Uh, my suggestion is to hire somebody that specializes in what you're looking for. Sounds like common sense. But for some reason, most purchasers don't do this. They'll be looking for waterfront property west of Summerside, and they'll select a, an agent that specializes in residential real estate in Charlottetown. Uh, or they'll be looking for a three-bedroom bungalow in Summerside, and they pick an agent that specializes in waterfront uh, on the eastern end of the island. My advice is pick an agent that specializes in what you're looking for. Precisely what you're looking for here is probably an agent that specializes in dealing with off-island buyers that preferably is somebody from off-island that can not only uh, you know, help you with, with everything from your moving to your financing to your looking for your house needs, but also explain their uh, opinions on moving from away, as the islanders call it, and they can also, you know, if they specialize in dealing with off-island buyers, they can probably introduce you to uh, a number of people that have moved here from off-island to give you a little better perspective on what you should expect. Uh, I've personally moved here from the Toronto area in 97, and I can honestly say there's a lot of fantastic things about PEI. I don't regret moving here. But just like anything, I don't think there's any perfect place. I think to any move there's some positives and some negatives and it would be well worth your time if you're considering moving to PEI to spend the time, make a toll-free phone call to me and uh, you'd be amazed what we could cover in just a few short minutes. As far as uh, you know, being an off-island buyer, a uh, potential buyer looking at real estate in PEI, I think it's a great idea to go on to uh, uh, the real estate sites, primarily realtor.ca and view PEI properties, but to be completely honest with you, you know, you want to use it to establish value, give you an idea of what you can buy for so many dollars, uh, but it's it's really not going to tell you things that you need to know, and only an experienced agent can tell you that works within that marketplace. Uh, for instance, the property you looked at here, uh, I mean, it's not going to say on the listing that, you know, the negatives are the road is going to be kind of tough to get down to in the winter, but the positives are it's phenomenal and it's about as close as you're going to get to waterfront uh, at half the cost and with the proper vehicle the winter is probably not going to be an issue but um, you know these things that aren't going to be mentioned in the listing a real estate agent 
uh, such as myself that specializes in this type of product that you inquired on can save you an awful lot of footwork um, and, and can save you weeks if not months of research. Uh, you know, the, the way to, you know, start working with that realtor is, you know, first of all, make, uh, you know, dedicate yourself to one agent, uh, providing that agent's giving you excellent service. If you see a listing on realtor.ca, email that agent that listing MLS number or numbers and uh, fire the questions away. And they, you know, that person should be able to, an be able to answer those questions over the phone or via email quickly and uh, concisely. But really what you need to do and I've looked for real estate in other countries and other provinces is you need to come out here uh, spend a few days here and uh, and really focus on you know what area of the island you'd like to live in and then work from there and then work on your you know look at your monetary requirements the prices uh, what your financing capability is and then go from there just to narrow it down but you're really you can get an idea of what's out there on the internet but you're really never ever gonna get the true feel without jumping on that plane and taking a look around. Uh, with my qualified buyers I have about a four hour tour that within those four hours which usually you know from 1 p.m. till 5 I can give you a really really good idea as to what you can get for how much. Uh, I've used it for the past 10 or 11 years works great and uh, you know I, as far as I know I have a hundred percent satisfaction rate. Lastly, when considering moving to PEI, uh, here's, here's what I consider some really good tips. Uh, first of all, I suggest visiting PEIplay.com. Uh, visit that website, order all the free stuff, the magazines, the maps. Um, the, the provincial government runs that site. There's a, a big list of interesting and, and helpful information they can send you. Uh, I would also suggest getting involved with reading the uh, Guardian, which is the Charlottetown newspaper, the Journal of the Summerside paper. Those are both available on the internet, uh, or you can read them as I do through the Google Newsreader or a newsreader of, of some sort. Uh, PEIinfo.com is another site. It's a local blog. Between those, you know, three or four different sites, you should pretty get a pretty good feel for. Uh, uh, for PEI. People ask me all the time about the weather. The weather is all on the internet, the weather network. Go to uh, Environment Canada. It's all there. Uh, CBC.ca, there's a Prince Edward Island section on there. Uh, actually, YouTube, interestingly enough, has a lot of neat stuff. And, uh, of course, my websites for real estate and relocation, michaelshomes.com, uh, my commercial site, michaelsre.com, and if you want to look at some Pacific properties, I highly recommend going to 3stacy.com. That's 3stacy.com. And uh, I strongly suggest looking at uh, sunburycove.com. Um, other interesting developments, Greenwich uh, is a fantastic location on the island. Information can be found on there by going to michaelshomes.com on the left-hand menu. Uh, you know, that should get you started. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them. And uh, I look forward to meeting new and exciting people moving to, uh, to PEI. Have a great day.